The increasingly worrisome post-war decline of the fishing industry in per se was offset by a burgeoning tourism boom. But first came vacationing. Well-heeled guests enjoyed stunning views from the big white house on the hill. Round about 1928, Abner Bisson, an ex-Robin Company employee, had a glamorous hotel built in the area. Per se Rock House. The main building has since disappeared, but the hotel annex is today home to the town hall and municipal library. By the late 19th century, more and more visitors were coming to Per Se to spend the summer out of the city and enjoy lungfuls of fresh sea air, wide open spaces, and bathing in the sea. Per Se first attracted vacationers who arrived by steamship from the upper reaches of the bourgeoisie in Canada and the United States. They set great store by comfortable, stylish hotels like Per Se Rock House. Tastefully decorated, it had an excellent reputation for dining in elegant rooms where guests could enjoy everything from tea and fine china to sumptuous dinners and evening dress. Very in vogue, one of the many attractions such hotels offered was costumed events. And, when the evening was over, guests retired to their well-appointed rooms, lit a lamp, and opened the window a crack to let in the fresh sea air they had come for. Today, nothing remains of these luxurious surroundings. Alas, they have not been spared the ravages of time.